Hello and welcome to Pendulum Dowsing and Tarot Reading with Lyman Holton. I'm going to do a tarot reading for your zodiac sign for the month of August 2022. Are you ready? Let's get going. The first thing I'm going to do is open up my cloth that covers the pendulum, set my crystal pendulum off to the side that I like to keep on top of the cards. Okay, set the cloth off to the side here and we're all set. This tarot card reading is being given for people born under the zodiac sign of Taurus for the month of August 2022. People with the Taurus sign have birthdays that range from April 20th through May 20th. The strengths associated with Taurus are reliable, patient, practical, devoted, responsible, and stable. The weaknesses, stubborn, possessive, and uncompromising. So, you think about the strengths and weaknesses, maybe some, none, or all apply to you. Only you know that for sure. Now to get on with the reading, I'm going to cut and shuffle the tarot deck three times. So here is the first cut. And the first shuffle. Second cut. The second shuffle. The third cut. And you guessed it, the third shuffle. There we go. With my left hand which is associated with the right hemisphere of the brain, which is the intuitive part of the brain. I will put the cards into a fan shape and draw three randomly selected cards. We've got one, we've got two, we've got three. Put the remaining cards back together here and set them off to the side in case we need them later, along with the pendulum. Bring down the three cards and the first card represents what you need to let go of as a Taurus for the month of August. And that card is the three of swords. That's what we need to let go of. I'll come back and explain what each card means and the position it holds after I turn over the other two. <laughs> okay, the second card represents what you need to know for the month of August as a Taurus. And that card is represented by the Four of Swords. So, this is unusual. Three of swords, four of swords. I've never had them come up that close together before. So this should be an interesting reading. The third card is representing upcoming opportunity. And it is on with the card of strength. Now, let me go over each of these cards and the position they hold, all right? So here we have the three of swords for what you need to let go of as a Taurus for August. Three of Swords represents grief, severing ties, sorrow, heartache, loss, quarrels, and hurt feelings. The three is a sign of heartbreak or grief. It is important to remember that it is temporary and a normal part of life. This card is something you need to let go of. It represents what you need to let go of. Obviously, 
it's something that has to do with grief, heartache. Something that has been bothering you uh, could be from the recent past, the distant past, but let it go. It is stifling your ability to do what needs to be done. So let's go on to the second card. Now the second card represents what you need to know for the month of August, and that card is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords represents recuperation, rejuvenation, retreat, sleep, meditation, and contemplation. The Four resembles a moment of rest in contemplation after the chaos of the Three, the Three of Swords card, where there was a lot of a battle chaos going on. It encourages solitary reflection. This card represents that you need to know that you need to rest. You need to sit back and reflect on what has happened in your past. You're letting this heartache, this grief of whatever it sort it is, go. And here you are, you, you need to know that you need to recuperate recuperate from the chaos. Perhaps that involved creating this heartache. Now let's go to the third card. And this card represents upcoming opportunity through the card of strength. The strength card represents fortitude, inner strength, compassion, patience, gentleness, instinct, and lust. This card shows a woman subduing a savage lion. Strength obviously represents strength, but a calm, patient, and efficient strength. It indicates a proper use of power, compassion, and persuasion to achieve one's goals. The strength card is counter to the chariot in that the power of the individual is subtle. It represents quietly influencing others to accomplish one's goals rather than to awkwardly tackling the challenges. And that represents your upcoming opportunities. Your upcoming opportunities chime very well with what you need to know. Here we're saying sit back, relax, reflex. Reflect. Here we're saying that you need a strong, calm, efficient strength and that you can help others and you can help yourself by not doing things in an impassioned, erratical way. So your opportunity lies in simply being a calm, strong, thoughtful person who has reflected on the chaos of their past and they let that part go. And that's all I have to say for these cards. So I'm going to double check with my wonderful crystal pendulum. Okay, pendulum, here we go. So I start off by making sure the pendulum and I are in sync through my subconscious, which is what makes my hand move the pendulum. Show me yes. And we have a nice, robust, counterclockwise circle indicating yes. Show me no. And that's what no looks like. It's a clockwise circle. And that's how my subconscious answers my yes and no questions by indicating that way. Now for the big question. Has this reading for people born under the zodiac sign of Taurus for the month of August 2022 been given for their best?
and we've got a nice big yes. Now, as my subconscious moves my hand through my ideomotor reflexes, the little muscles and nerves, I do my best to keep my hand steady. And that's how the answers come out. So, a good reading. I've never had a reading where I had a three of swords and a four of swords follow each other like that. That's very, very interesting. I want you to know that I give private readings. If you're interested in getting a private tarot reading and or pendulum dowsing, please send an email to me at lyman.holton at yahoo.com. In the email, put your question or questions and or whatever information you think I should have or you feel like giving me. And it can be a little bit, it can be a lot. It's up to you. What makes you feel good? Okay, what I will do with that is I will do the reading and or pendulum dousing, make a videotape of me doing it, and I will send you a private link to that. After you view the video, you decide what you thought of it. What's it worth to you? Because I have no set prices. You determine the price for the reading. And then what you do is you go to the top right portion of my YouTube channel on that home page. You will see where there are donate to where there is donate to my channel. And that's through PayPal. And what you do is you insert the page or I'm sorry, you insert the number into that page that you feel is appropriate for what you got out of this reading or penal and dowsing. It's as simple as that. I'm very honest. I know a lot of people are worried about being taken care of. So I try to be as transparent as possible. You decide the fee, period. I can't be more honest than that. I hope to hear from you. And that's the end of this reading. I hope this was a great tarot card reading for you and that it gives you some insight to what possibly could happen in the month of August for your zodiac sign. So I wish you a great month ahead. Come back and see me next month because I'll be right here waiting for you. Goodbye for now.